all right guys welcome once again and today we're going I'm going to be showing you how to get rid of error 0 0 C 0 0 uh, well you know why you're here anyways um, this error is like very very annoying very annoying and most recently has been notorious for popping up with uh, evolve and dying light but it has also been reported to cause problems with Watch Dogs, Assassin's Creed, and a bunch of other cool games. And um, we'll see how we can get rid of this. Now, there is a bunch of methods that you can uh, go about doing this. And uh, in this video, I'm going to show you the one that worked for me. However, on the descriptions of the video, uh, there is a post a link there where... Um, I got this method, but there are other methods in case that this one doesn't work for you. But 90% of the time, this is related to uh, bad DLLs or corrupted DLLs. Uh, there are also in the video descriptions uh, links to files and updates that every gaming computer should have. So make sure that you are updated and ready to go for your games. All right, so uh, moving on. Uh, pretty much you're going to download uh, a file a, a, a file containing the uh, most common DLLs used for games okay now this file like I said is listed on the video description uh, is going to contain a folder called Windows and that window and that Windows folder is going to contain a folder named system 32 and sys wow 64 each of these contain few DLLs there and this one contains another DLLs. Now, pretty much as you probably guessed, what you're going to do is take those DLLs from each folder and copy and paste them into their respective system folders. So I already have them, uh, for simplicity's sake, have those folders right up here. And pretty much what you do is that you copy and paste them uh, into their corresponding folder. So if I wanted to paste the sys32 uh, DLLs, I'm just copying them, you know. You right click on an empty space here and make sure you just paste them here. I already did all this, by the way, so my applications are actually up and running. And um, so that should fix your problem. This is what fixed my problem after trying a bunch of things like running the applications into administrator mode and going into the properties and changing it to compatibility modes with an earlier versions of the operating system of the Windows OS and things like that. Uh, this, this, if this doesn't work for you, like I said, check out the um, uh, video uh, description for uh, um, helpful links that can help you uh, solve it. Thank you for watching. I really hope that this solves your problem. And uh, please leave me a comment and um, give me a like. Thank you, and as always, have a wonderful day. Keep it cool.